Hi everybody, David Brian Smith here for the 52 Weeks of Music blog. I got the got the heater on here out in Smith Haven because it's starting to get a little cold here in Atlanta. And it's Fresh Music Friday and my songs that I'm working on this week are uh, Dance with the Devil and a song called Inside of Me. Uh, I'm not quite ready to put them out just yet. I want to keep them a little bit longer and work on them just a little bit longer and try to make them just a little bit better videos. Uh, they are in the theme of January, which is birthing. So they're birthing new songs. Uh, Dance with the Devil is, is a little different. Um, but Inside of Me is definitely a birthing song. So if you would like to write a song for the themes, uh, up here on one of the sides here, I'll put a link to the, the themes that I set out. And sometimes it's just good to have some themes to go by as an idea. Because, you know, some people will go, oh, well, what do I write a song about? I, can't write a song about this, can't write a song about that, but you can write a song about anything you want. This is my last video of 2016. Next one will be in 2017. And this will be the end of the fifth month that I've been writing songs. I mean, seriously writing songs. And I've written about 30 so far. I think so far this year, not counting before August, including the ones that I wrote, I've got about 50 or so, maybe 50, 54 or so, so far, because I made the commitment to do so. And that's kind of what I'm talking about today. We're, we're almost to the end of the year, and some people are going to be setting goals and resolutions and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm really not a resolution or a, or a end of the year kind of guy. I do set intentions for the following year, and I do set long-term goals for them. And I really encourage that. So if you're, if you're inclined, here are some of my goals for the next six months. Over the past five months, I've learned quite a bit on the guitar. Uh, I've learned a style of songwriting that is comfortable for me, that, that I, I didn't invent it. Uh, I stumbled across it by doing a whole bunch of research, and then I found out that, wow, this is the exact same method that Berklee College of Music teaches. So maybe I've stumbled across something that actually has some merit to it. I never say that I'm an expert in, in anything here. I, <laughs> the only thing I'm an expert in is hypnosis. I'm a professional hypnotist and that's how I make my living. And I, I am an expert hypnotist. But in songwriting and guitar playing, that's all you know new territory for me. And, and the reason I made this blog to begin with in, in the first place was just to add a layer of accountability to me. If I started doing videos and started showing what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, maybe it would help somebody else, but also it would give me some accountability for I got to get out there and I got to do it this week. I got to keep up with it. I got to keep striving. I got to keep moving forward. So as you're setting goals for 2017, I recommend that you, you make them small, make them attainable, and just get out there and just start doing them because you're the only person that's going to go after your dreams. You're, you're the only person that's going to look the only person that's going to do it. So why wait for somebody else to tell you how to do it or what not to do or make fun of you for doing it because that's just all BS. So I wanted to just to, to have a heart to heart. I appreciate each and every one of you that has watched one of my videos or commented on it or given me a like or given me some suggestions on what I should do. And I'd actually like to, to hear your comments and suggestions about what you would like to hear from me in 2017. I'm really trying to make the songs just as good as they can and make the recordings as good as they can. I will be coming out with an album in 2017 for the songs that I've written. And I think some of them are pretty good. I think Vanilla Bean is pretty good. I think Jambalaya is really good. I've got a lot of uh, comments about give thanks for everything. I think the uh, I Love You song is really good. And I, I, I would like to put those out for people to enjoy in a format that everybody can take with them and not everybody can take a YouTube video with them. Um, so that's, a, that's one of my goals is to become a better recording artist. And I did not plan on that at all. In fact, I didn't plan on recording them at all. I just did this as, like I say, an accountability type thing. And as I got more into it, I realized that there are a lot of people that would just really like to make songs, but never felt like they really could. So my focus really kind of changed on what I want to do as, as uh, compared to helping other people to expand their own musical style and their own... Um, 
ability to reach their own artistic goals. Lots of people would like to be songwriters, but they just don't know how. I didn't know how. That's why I've done tons of research. I've read uh, four dozen books on songwriting and music theory and guitar playing. And some of them are really good. And I've, I've highlighted some of those on this channel. Some of them are really bad. Uh, so I did not highlight those. So I, I hope you can bear with me on that. But mainly, I, I just want to say thank you to the viewers who have seen some of my stuff and and ask you to give me a comment down below on what you would like to see some videos on in 2017. I'm not going to be as active, I think, on this channel as I have been throughout the year because my season is starting to come up for uh, hypnosis and I'm going to be doing a lot of shows this year. Uh, and last year I was out in Arizona and I did 70 something shows, you know, in a two month period, but I, I'm not on tour like that this year. Um, I'll be traveling a little bit more, but not in one specific place. Um, and that's going to be an interesting style for me. I am playing music in those shows as well, as well as speaking about my, you know, on the topics of my book, playing it safe, living safe, and safe at work. Those safe principles work. And the safe principles are stretching, affirming the positive, taking action, finding your purpose, and everyday gratitude. Um, and I'm just thankful for you coming along with this journey with me. And if I can help you in any way or encourage you in any way or be an inspiration to you, then my job is complete because life is too short not to go after your dreams and not to go after the things that you want. So hopefully this little bit of motivation, a little bit of expression of joy from me about songwriting transfers over through the medium of video and lets you know that I'm just having a blast doing this. Something that I've always wanted to do. I never thought that I actually could do it. No one has ever believed in me to say, oh yeah, you can be a songwriter, Dad. You can do it. No one's ever said that to me. I had to do it myself. And if you need something like that, then take this from me because I do believe in you. I do believe that you can do anything you set your mind to and that songwriting is just a, a skill and you can learn it if you want to and you can really make great songs that impact a lot of people. I, I have already, uh, uh, am seeking music bookings for 2017. I've already got a couple that are, that are, that are up there and a couple of art shows. If you'll notice, I wear copper jewelry and stuff that I, that I craft and I've got an Etsy channel and an Etsy store now. Uh, to sell and market this type of stuff. It's on a small scale because I, you know, I don't, I, I do this for, for the love of it and to get my art out there into the world. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? And to share about your life, share your art with the world and just be the best person that you possibly can be. So I hope you have a fantastic 2017. Look for my new songs, uh, Dance with the Devil and It's Inside of You to come out first part of 2017 and my new album. Uh, I, I don't even know what it's going to be called. Uh, also in 2017, along with some other book projects. Um, I've got a, a novel that I'm working on called uh, Life at the Top, Who Shot Timber, or The Day Timber Was Shot. And it's a young adult novel that I will be uh, selling in and marketing in the in the high school so that I'm, that I'm going to for hypnosis shows. We've done a lot of prom dates this this season. So if you're if you're interested in that, um, just drop me a line and I'll be you know subscribe to the channel and and I'll, my my other channel uh, for David Brian Smith, America's Gentleman Hypnotist, will be more active in 2017 as this channel becomes a little less active. Uh, I will be putting out videos each week. But I'm not quite sure they will be both on Tuesday and on Friday. Probably maybe just one a week and maybe a couple of performances on some uh, some of the videos. As I just get more in tune with the sales part of what I have to do to transform my life and, and do my own joy. And I get so much joy out of being a hypnotist that, that that's what I'm focusing 2017 on. I have truly appreciated all the people who have given me support and who are supporting me in this journey of being a singer-songwriter. And I, you know, 
make some songs. You can do it. I believe in you. Have yourself a fantastic week. May all of your 2017 just be blessed with the joy and excitement and fulfillment of art and music that is the expression of you. And I look forward to hearing and seeing what you create in 2017.